So is this is this uh, just water and soap, or is it solvent? Or? No, there's a there's a soap in there too. Okay, hey, we're uh, we got the black all clean and, and dried off here. We're got it in the assembly room. Um, so I'm going to start by putting in uh, new frost plugs, core plugs, cam bearings, and tower bushing, and then we'll get the cam in, go from there. And he's just plugged the oil passages in the block, which have to be drilled out obviously when they make the block they have to drill all the way through it and then they just put these plugs on so that the otherwise the oil would just come straight through. This is our uh, roller cam. Um, I'm just going to clean it up real quick and then we're going to get the cam bearings in but I want to use this camshaft to test fit the cam bearings to make sure everything's fitting the way it should. Is that the original cam that's going? Is that the cam that's going? Nope, well, it is the cam that's going in the engine, yes. Is there anything special about it? Or? Um, well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, the, you know, it's just the right profile for this for this engine. Run this twice. I'm just checking it right now to make sure it spins. I'm going to pull it out and I'll lube everything. But if I got to fix anything, I don't want all that <clears throat> grease and oil on there. So we're just going to test it. And take it back out, lube everything, and then we'll put it back in. Hopefully, for good. It's just like it should. Everything needs gaskets. Yep. Uh, we've done a rear seal conversion on this because when Chrysler originally originally built big block Chryslers, they actually used a piece of rope as a rear seal, and it wasn't real concentric to the to the uh, crankshaft as far as being in line. But it didn't matter with the piece of rope because as the the crank would spin, it would just wear the rope into the right groove. Uh, but of course, in time, that rope breaks down and leaks oil which wasn't a, a big issue back in the 60s. People just kind of dealt with that. Uh, customers today expect there to be no oil leaks. So when Chrysler switched over to the rubber seal, they didn't change the design of the block. They just started putting, a, they, they made a rubber seal that would fit in that groove. But th since they didn't change their process and how they made the block, that groove is not machined on the center line of the crankshaft. The seal can be off a little relative to the crank. And so it doesn't seal real well on a lot of them. Sometimes they get lucky and they'll seal, but in our experience, the majority of them end up developing oil leaks replacement rather than being designed to run that seal originally. So we've converted it to run a different type of seal. Since we've done that, we haven't had one, one oil leak. Right now I'm setting the crank thrust. So this is an indicator. The crankshaft has to have a little bit of, of lateral movement here. And it's got almost nothing right now. So I have to figure out why. Cap, main cap is probably tipped. So I had quite a bit of thrust before I put the cap on. Sound of speed. Yeah. So to deal with our uh, rear seal issue that we had on Chrysler's for many years, uh, we developed this uh, uh, real rear seal conversion where we bore out the, the back of the block and the uh, seal adapter, sort of run a, a Felpro 2904 seal rather than the big block Chrysler seal. This is what it looks like. We actually made the first couple of these on our lathe back here in the shop, um, which was very time consuming, but we did it because we had to solve a problem. So you can see how this will just hold this type of seal in place. You know, a couple of core blocks that we had uh, machined out a little trial and error and, and kind of got it perfected over a year or two, um, different sizes, and uh, but it works really good. We haven't had one leak since we started converting them this way, so. Okay, 
so we've got a rings fit, rings on the piston in place, pin locks are in. It's going to oil up the rings and the piston skirts. Rod and piston in. And we're going to mock up and do a bunch of measurements here. So now that we've got one in, we're going to uh, set the heads on here and check the dome clearance, make sure the dome's clear of the cylinder head. Uh, we'll check piston to valve clearance. Before I do that, I'm going to degree the camshaft in. Um, we've already set our cam thrust here off the front, uh, but we'll need to degree the cam and then I'll be able to check all those clearances. Once I know we don't have to make any modifications to anything, then I'll go ahead and put the other seven rods and pistons in. And so the next time you see this, all that will be completed. <laughs>